Quantum Break is uh, the new game from Remedy, and Remedy, if you don't know who they are, are one of the weirdest developers for me, because, like, I love some of their games, I respect others, but here they come with their new one. So they've done Max Payne, they've done Max Payne 2, they've done Alan Wake, so here comes Quantum Break, and Quantum Break is basically taking time in itself and making it the main plot and going back in time, altering time, stopping time, fast forwarding time, all this stuff into one plot. And that can be really intriguing or really stupid. So let's see where Quantum Break lands and if this game is worth picking up right now. Right off the bat, the thing that took me by surprise the most was the game has so much shit going on. Now, some people are like, some of the graphics aren't up to par or feel a bit unpolished. And some points in the game, I do see that. However, there's moments in this game, this one part when you're actually in a cafeteria and you do a dash and literally all the plates go up in midair and freeze. It looks phenomenal. It's stuff that you wanted to see since like... PS2 that was just not possible with the engine running it would be too much and now we get it So while some of the graphics and the maybe the faces and the hair don't look as great as they could Everything in this game in the environment the stop freeze time shit happening all at once and going back and forth between different time zones Looks phenomenal and great. So for me graphics and atmosphere are definitely a big plus another thing I really enjoyed was for the most part the story well it i like the voice acting a lot it started to die down the story itself which i'll get to later but the voice acting was really well done it was all done by big actors or at least actors i don't know if you consider them big and it contained pretty good pacing there wasn't a lot of filler there was a couple of you know go open this door for me and stuff like that but most of it actually led to actual story and the voice acting kept me intrigued throughout the game because it was good Another thing, and this is probably the biggest feature, is this game features uh, uh, three, about three chapters in a level, and then you watch an episode of the game in real life. So they're real life actors, and they're playing the same people that they play in the game as the voice actors. So I really, really dug that. What I love the fact that you make these choices, and your story outcome in the TV show version is different. So that's really cool. This game gives you reason to really actually replay it, because you want to see what happens on the alternate side of choosing. So I actually thought the live action was well acted some big actors from like even the wire and some other shows and then i really just it, oh and game of thrones of course and i just really dug the idea of choosing the game option and then getting to see a different tv episode i thought that was very cool and well done and last but not least, the gameplay. Uh, I have some issues that I get to, but overall, I actually love the idea of having these powers and using them to fight enemies. You can dash, which slows down time for a second. You basically come flash. Then you can hold him and go really fucking like normal run, but to everybody else, you're doing super dash and just beat the shit out of them. There's stuff where you can put up a shield to block bullets, and there's stuff where you can even shoot a fucking time little warp thing and it blows up. So there's so many cool little features in this game that I really enjoy in terms of the powers. I know the powers were very cool and for someone like me who loves like the matrix and time stopping and all that it was very cool to actually do that. Appreciate it. Now on the flip side a lot of what I talked about as you notice I say I like this portion of this but I have to talk about something else later. So that's really what most of the negatives are. So as we were talking about the graphics and atmosphere are pretty damn good but at times everything feels a little bit unpolished in terms of the hair, the face, maybe the movements. Not a lot, and that's my least thing I have to talk about negative, but you could definitely notice. Another thing is, again, the story. While the voice acting is really good, and the TV show part is actually the better, more intriguing portion of the story, the actual story itself is kind of a jumble mess. And then when you actually get it, it's still not that well told. It's kind of like, oh... Well, that's been done before, and that's kind of sucks because the story itself in the beginning is different than anything I've ever seen. So I really felt left out by the let down, sorry, by the story of itself. 
But overall, the biggest thing for me is got to be the gameplay. Uh, while it's cool with the powers, the shooting is very, very basic. And while I didn't mind it, by the end, I was kind of getting bored of the shooting itself. Also, some of the enemies at the end are just bullshit hard just to throw a massive amount of people at you at once. And this game really isn't meant for that. It's meant to use your powers in a way that you're fighting maybe three to four enemies. Not about five to ten enemies, plus a fucking guy that shoots a fucking bomb that blows up, a, you know, half the room. So... As, as terms of gameplay, it was kind of uneven for me. Which part of man and ain't got to shake your head? Get that style check. Put it in pockets till I get back. Going downtown. Listen, Quantum Break is an interesting title, and I really urge everybody who has an Xbox One to play it, because I feel like this is a type of game that's going to be either you love it, you don't like it at all, or you might like some parts of it, and that's where I fall in. I fall in the some parts of it. I did enjoy it. I thought it was well-crafted. It just wasn't living, it wasn't living up to its full potential in most of the areas that it did do stuff very unique and fun in. So saying that, I'm going to have to give Quantum Break about a 6.5, which isn't a horrible score. A lot of people are like, oh my god, sore score ever. I just can't, like at times it's a 7, 7.5, it's good, it's almost great, but a lot of times it's just okay. It's fun at times, but it's also frustrating at times. The story is intriguing, but it never actually becomes that interesting in the end so overall i'm gonna give it a 6.5 it's an okay game definitely worth playing pick it up when it's cheap or rent it it's definitely a very unique experience you may like it a lot more than i did but everybody else who is expecting like everything to be brand new and super different than any other game you played it's not really that it just has some really unique little twists and the tv show part of it is great but everything else is kind of very standard so anyway not to go on and on but 6.5 out of 10 if you like my video, hit like. If you love me, hit subscribe. More videos coming, more reviews. Everybody, have a wonderful day.